Hi, I'm Leonora and this is Profiles for Pi TV Arts and we're here outside the Slade to interview a photographer and MFA student, Michal Rubin, whose work has been published by major publications such as the New York Times, The Telegraph and The Independent. I'm Michal Rubin and I am an MFA student at Slade School of Fine Art, second year, graduating in four months, I think. Um, I started taking pictures when I was 16. I took like a photography course. I grew up in Tel Aviv, uh, next to Tel Aviv in, in Israel. And um, yeah, I, I was... I was sort of transitioning because my whole childhood I wanted to be an actress and I was like in drama school and then I took uh, drama high school and and I, I was sort of like, you know, sure my whole life that that was what I was going to end up doing. But then it sort of, it sort of like started shifting in, at 16 where I kind of discovered that I really liked um, part of the whole of, of the acting thing was that I liked uh, observing people and a lot of imitations and stuff like that. So then I kind of took a photography course and from there it grew and then uh, after drama school in, in Israel I, I left high school in the middle and I moved with my parents to New York because they moved there. Um, my dad was um, a diplomat for a couple of years and, um, and then I tried to do some acting in New York and I, and I realized it was too difficult and I would have to dedicate my whole life sort of and it would be probably too a road too man with too many like uh, you know sad stories on the way. So I decided to take photography and and I kind of did a whole 180 and uh, I went to um, School of Visual Arts in New York. And then I did that's where I did my bachelor's, which was like about 10, 11 years ago. Well, I, I graduated in 2002 from SVA and then I kind of started doing commercial work and worked editorial. Uh, I was trying to be an assistant for a little bit, but that didn't work very well. So I realized that I sort of have to try to push my own work, um, which is sort of like what a lot of people do, especially in New York. And when you know they start getting into the commercial work world, they they start by assisting first. So yeah, that didn't. I I just realized that I'm like the way I work is sort of kind of scattered and just sort of like my personality. So. I, I had to kind of try to push what I do because I don't I don't I didn't feel like anyone can really depend on me in getting all the technical things. I'm, I was never very technical, basically. So um, yeah. So then I I worked for magazines mostly. I did portrait. And I shot for W magazine and um, V magazine and New York magazine and a couple here and there. And then I shot a couple of things for. Um, London newspapers like the Independent and uh, Telegraph and I I kept coming back and forth here because I had family living here um, and I and I really I kind of got to know the London scene better and I liked it so I, I was always sort of uh, gearing towards here because New York is also very the, the world of photography in New York is sort of commercial oriented and very um, less artistic yeah and I and I and I bought I was sort of doing fine art as well. I was like exhibiting, but it was more to start to try to make money. I was tr trying more to push the commercial work. So I think, yeah. And, that, and then I decided to sort of change that because I wanted to more concentrate on my own personal work. So uh, I decided um, it was sort of like it came in waves. I, like about five years ago, I, I tried to get accepted into um, doing my master's. Um, I, I didn't actually try to go to slave, which I think sort of was what I should have, but I tried to other schools and, and it, I guess that wasn't my time and it didn't work and then I waited a little longer and I, I had all kinds of different things that I worked on on the, on the way, like there was trying to get my visa, my green card in New York, which I feel like was a pretty big job in itself. So that took like sort of like a couple of years in between <laughs> the work that I was doing. And, um, and then, yeah, and then I got accepted in 2010 for 2011, and I started then. And I then started to move to London and, and come to school. I, I love Slade. It's great. Um, I feel like 
with with the different schools that I was thinking of going to here in London and and also in New York, like each one had their kind of thing that sort of uh, they're known for. And I think with Slade, it's what you feel also when you when I came right away for the interview is that they don't try to put you in any box or they don't try to um, I don't know they don't they they I I don't want to say they don't try to push you but they don't do it they they're very they're very um, supportive, so they want to see where you're coming from and where they can help you w go towards. They, they don't try to like, you know, um, dictate anything that they might feel is right. And I feel that that's what's so special about Slade. And I, it probably has, I mean, it has such a long history as well, and you feel it. And the tutors and the students and, and, and the fact that it's also a, a combination of people doing not only photography or not only film, but it's a mix of everything together. I feel like that's what uh, is really great in my, in my own you know, um, point of view here. In my own work, which is sort of uh, a combination between these atmospheric landscapes and in, um, sort of environmental portraits and intimate moments of my family and friends. Um, so basically just uh, interested in exploring these like everyday um, seemingly mundane situations but finding maybe something I don't know unique about them and kind of elevating them to a different place. Um, so that is the kind of work and and, th and then over the years I've become more interested in, uh, in women and their roles as mothers as my friends started um, you know building their family so I started looking at relationships between children and, and parents and um, how how strong the, these bonds can be and how how much dependency goes into it and that kind of thing. Uh, I love movies, so for me, movies that really make me, you know, feel are the ones about like everyday situations that people face and struggles that they have to go through. Things that I can relate to, basically. So for me, work is about somehow it's about relating to people, and I hope that like the you know the work that I do, other people can relate to the situations they see in the work. Just like I can relate to certain moments. I mean, I think in a way, maybe everything I do is sort of a self-portrait. Maybe that's something that every artist does. Um, it's, it's just things that I felt like I can, I can, I felt at some point in my life, or it's like something I recognize and I kind of try to take that out. I, I, I call this picture yellow because, well, obviously it's, it has the yellow lighting that really kind of, um, um, comes in all of my work almost. I'm really like obsessed with the sunlight of a certain time. And then there's also, it's yellow, which means je jealousy, because like it's her dog is jealous for her other dog because her other dog is smelling someone. <laughs> so she's holding him to like try to calm him down, to show him, don't worry, you know, it's okay, she'll come back. Something that probably comes back in all of my work. It's, it's the sunlight, I think. Okay. So that's like the second subject of my work. So. Maybe the first one is relationship and people, and second is life. Right. And uh, I had a show that it was, and the name was, uh, the title of the show was Chasing Light, because someone was telling me that that's what I always do. And I realized, <laughs> I realized that that's so true. It's like, because sometimes when, when the lighting inside is at the last hour, you know, like sometimes I would just like push my subject towards that, that little ray of light that is about to disappear and so much of it is about those couple of seconds that are almost gone before you even like know, so. Collaging is so fun because you kind of like, it's just like when you look at your old, um, um, uh, not scrapbooks, uh, how do you say? Scrapbooks. No, your old, uh, albums? yeah, photo albums and you start remembering all this stuff. So for me that happens and then I start cutting them and then I feel like I'm kind of going through like an emotional roller coaster from these times, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it's okay, that, that's how it is. It's gotta be like that when I start working because otherwise I don't know like what I'm cutting and what I'm doing. It's very like a, a weird kind of non, yeah, non-linear kind of thing. Right now I'm thinking of maybe moving back home after 15 years so, since I left there when I was 20. Uh, and, and, and seeing what might be there. We'll see. What's your ideal situation? 
Uh, probably living in two places at the same time, which is sort of what I do anyway, but like maybe three, like, well, at this point I, I feel like I did leave New York, but I, I still, it's part of me, like I love it. So I, I have to go back there once, like every, you know, couple of months or like once a year at least. So, so much attached to vacation. Vacation's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. I really, I think I'm, I'm interested in exploring how people get connected to their environment and, and the space they live in and the people, the community that they are with.